Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and tricky question from entrance examination. So which number is larger? On the left side we have 1.01 to the power 100 and on the right side we have 3. So right now let's test our intuition, pause the video and write your answer, write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check your answer. So it will be, it will be really interesting. So a lot of students may be thinking, okay, maybe we just need to raise this 1.01 to the power 100, but it is not the best way to solve it because because we have 100 expression, we need to multiply this expression by each other. So this is a long way. How can we solve it? I recommend you to look at this binomial expansion method. So how how does the method looks like? First of all, first of all, let's write our expression on the left side according to this according to this general way. So we have one plus x uh, to the power to the power n. So this expression on the left side we can easily write uh, according to this way. We can easily write it because we can write it as one plus instead of x we can write 0 0.01 0 0.01 and raised to the power to the power 100. Of course this is absolutely the same expression that we have in the beginning but this this way how can we express this is extremely important because we need this uh, to find the binomial expansion to expand this uh, expression so how does this formula um, how does this formula looks like so our binomial expansion i'm going to write a basic uh, general formula this expansion looks like that so we have one plus x raised to the power of n, this is equal to, approximately equal to, so we have 1 plus linear expansion, so plus nx, plus nx. The next thing we have the uh, quadratic, uh, the cubic expansion, so we have plus n times n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial, 2 factorial times x square, times x square. And of course, for better approximation, we can easily find one more, so we have n times n minus 1, times n minus 1, times n minus 2, n minus 2, and we divide it by 3 factorial, 3 factorial, and times x x cube and we have a lot of these a lot of this expression, a lot of expression in the end, but at this point I really hope that we need only these these four uh, these four terms and I really hope we can easily get we can easily get our approximately answer. So right now let's plug in each of these uh, elements because from here we can easily find our x x equal to uh, 0 0.01 so let's write it right here so x equal to x equal to 0 0.01 and our n is equal to is equal to 100 according to this formula n equal to 100. So right now let's plug in each of these elements into this into these spots into our into our formula. So our uh, one point. Uh, so we don't need these parentheses once more. So we can write it as 1.01 to the power 100. So 1.01 to the power 100 is approximately equal to one plus n x n times x 100 times uh, 0.01. So we have plus 100 times 0 0.01. The next thing we have plus uh, 100 times 100 minus 1, we have 99. So we have 100, 100 times 99 over 2 and times x square, but x equal to 0 0.01. So times 0 0.01 to the second power and the third, the third term, uh, the last term right here, we have 100 times 99 and times 98. So we have 100 times 99 times 98. We divide it by three factorial equal to uh, equal to six and times, don't forget about uh, 0 0.01 to the power three. So 0 0.01 to the power to the power three and let's find each of these each of these terms so let's compute step by step so first of all our first term first first term first term is right here so this is the first term first term equal to equal to one let's find our second term second term uh, let's find our second term find our second term is right here so this is our 100 so this is our first term this is our second second term this is our first term so we have 100 times uh, 0 0.01 so second term equal to 100 times 0 0.01 and right here we have we have one so our second term is equal to one let's find real quick our our third term this is our third term let's find it real quick right here on the left side so we have 100 so third third term we have 100 uh, 100 times 99, 99 over 2, and times we can easily rate this. So 0 0.01 to the power 2 
equal to so we have times 0 0.00001 yeah enter the result we have right here when we multiply it we have 4950 4950 we're going to divide it by by 2 and times this uh, this uh, value so 0 0.0001 and when we multiply it, we have only 0 0.4945. This is a third, uh, third term. And for better approximation, we can easily find our, our fourth term. You can easily see this fourth term right here. So this is our fourth, and this is our fourth, fourth term. So let's find it, our fourth term, real quick. So we have right here our fourth, our fourth term. As a result, what do we have? 100 times 99 times 98 times 98 we're going to divide it by by six yeah by six and times we have right here 0 0.01 to the power three so this is equal to zero point we have right here one two three four five so one two three four five zeros and and one when we multiply it we will have like uh, 100 times 99 times 98 we have uh, 1061 1061 and 7 700 we're gonna divide it by uh, we're gonna divide it by 6 when we divide it we have this um, this value and times 0 0.00000 and 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 when we multiply it by 1 our first term is equal to 0 0.1617 one, one so these are our fourth term and like right now let's add all of these uh, all of these terms let's do this so let's approximate our our total so this one 1.01 1 .01 to the power 100 so 1.01 1 .01 to the power 100 is approximately equal to so the first term one plus the second term second term equal to one as well so plus one plus the third term equal to 0 0.495 0 0.495 and our uh, our fourth term equal to 0 0.1617 0 0.1617 and when we add all of this stuff this is equal to 2.65 Six, seven. So as you can see right here, our expression is approximately equal to uh, 2.65 and times 2.65 and 6, 7. But it's not the good way to compare it, because as you can see, we need to compare this expression with 3. We had in the beginning, we have 3, but this is not like the clear information for us. And uh, before the video, I find real quick our our first, uh, our fifth approximation. So our fifth, fifth term, fifth, fifth term. And uh, when I find it, our first term, so when we uh, find it, our first term is approximately equal to 0 0.0392. So as you can see right here, these fifth terms uh, change nothing for us because when we add our, when we even add our fifth term to this expression, so when we add it, so as a result we have 1.01 .01 to the power 100. When we add to this expression our fifth term, we're going to have like 2.6567, 67 plus 0 0.03392 uh, so as a result this is equal to 2.6969 okay 69 right here and 5 Five, nine. and here is the main thing I want I want to say right now because the fifth sum and the, so the fifth term adds 0 0.04 approximately so it's still it's still not huge so as you can see we can easily write this expression as 2.6959 and the next term should be about 0 0.0076 so they won't put the thumb above above three so the next term will be 100 percent less than the previous one so our thumb so this uh, this expansion these terms won't put the thumb above about three so we can write our 1.01 to the power 100 so this of expression from the beginning and we have we have three okay this of expression from the beginning but right now we know that expression on the left side this expression on the left side approximately equal to 2.69569 
9 so approximately equal to 2.7 i'm going to say it like that so 2.7 so this 2.7 of course is less than 3 right here less than 3 right here and our uh, final answer that this expression when we raise to the power uh, to the power 100 going to be less going to be less than 3 so our final answer 1.01 .01 is and to the power 100 is less than less than 3 i'm going to go the, through the so solution real quick maybe you don't understand it so first of all we express this uh, in that way because we're gonna apply the binomial expansion formula we know x we know n uh, then we're gonna plug in n and x into this into this formula this is uh, this is a basic uh, formula for binomial expansion don't be scared about it this is a basic formula when we plug in it of, of course when we plug in more when we find the first term the sixth term you will have like more accurate answer but you need to know that the next term it means that like the lower in most percentage percentage of cases it means like the next term gonna be lower uh, lower expression so as you can see our our um, second term equal to one our third term equal to 0 0.495 our fourth term equal to even lower than the third term and of course the fifth term is going to be even lower than the fourth term so uh, a bigger term means like a bigger uh, greater accuracy for your answer but in this case we really need to see uh, we really need to see this answer we really need to see this four or fifth term and after that we can easily say that our expression on the left side is going to be less going to be less than three so i really hope you understand my explanation you can also write your notes write your solution down into the comment section write your write your assumption it's going to be really interesting to see you respond uh, down into the comment section so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos